Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and this is a shoe haul and sale video of thrifted shoes and shoes from a website called swap.com. It's where I source a lot of my shoes in addition to my local thrift shops because I get 40% off and I can extend that offer to you by using the 40% off coupon code that I will put in the description box for you. So I got um, the rest of the shoes at the Savers that I shop at regularly, um, the local Goodwill over here in my town. And um, some of them even came from a thrift store, a church thrift store over by Dallas's daycare. So um, let's jump right into it. If you are interested in anything that you see, you can definitely email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. That information will be in the description box. Um, prices do not include shipping. Um, I will sh I will kind of tell you guys what I can expect um, when listing the shoes on eBay and Poshmark. And then I will also give you guys a price for you as subscribers get a discounted price um, versus what I would list it for online. Um, I will also keep a sold list as usual in the comment section, so please make sure you look at that list before you email me, um, just to make sure that the items you're looking for are not already taken. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through, oh, I accept PayPal and a payment is due immediately uh, once I you know, send out the invoice. Um, if you have not bought from me, just let me know your PayPal email and your mailing address in the email so I can calculate the shipping. Okay, um, so we're going to go over the thrifted shoes first and then we will get into the swap.com. I was supposed to have my thread up uh, shoe rescue box, but it's not going to arrive for a couple days. So that'll be next week's video. All right, so in the meantime, let's go over the shoes that I picked up at Savers. And we're going to start with these. These are Uggs. Whoops, I have them backwards. These are Uggs, and that's a fuzzy. <laughs> they are the tall um, knit gray. They are in really nice condition. They are a size, I believe they were an eight. They are a size eight. And as you can see, I almost died when I saw that price because Savers never has Uggs for eight dollars and fifty cents so I grabbed these and put them in my cart as fast as I could this was the day that I found my Gucci purse at Savers so I did find quite a few nice pairs of shoes for regular relatively cheap so um, these are in really nice condition there's obviously slight wear to them but overall they're really nice size 8 so online I can ask 40 to 50, I would say, probably more towards 50, and I would do um, 35 for you guys. That's a deal. Then I got these. Now, I've never really heard of this brand. I've only sold it one other time, and as soon as I listed it, they sold within a couple of hours. So now, of course, when I tell you guys things sell for me, they may not always sell for everybody. It just is my experience, so please keep that in mind. But things that sell regularly... That's a nice uh, cab horn, right? <laughs> but things that sell consistently for me, um, I always share with you guys um, because I figure if they're always selling for me, they've got to sell for some somebody else too. So these are called... Beezies, and they're like a um, elastic black um, stretchy like sneaker I'm pretty sure they're new yeah I don't really see any you know um, rub or anything on an, on it these were $9.49 and keep in mind at Savers I do get a 20% discount all the time um, not only do I donate, um, a, you know, things here and there to them for a coupon, but I also, I think it's if you spend $100 or more, you get a 20% off coupon. And I'm always spending $100 or more every time I go. So I have like a backup of 20% off coupons. So um, these are size... 
Where are the sizes? I know the size is on the price tag, but it gives a range. It's a 10 to a 10 and a half. Here it is. It's a 10. So um, these are brand new. I would list them on eBay for around 40, I think. And you guys, I would do 30. <clears throat> Then I got, they, now keep in mind, they do have to be cleaned up a little bit. I did not clean up any of these shoes. These are straight from the thrift shop. And I've talk, talked about this brand before. This is Vionic. This is a very um, good resale brand, a very popular, um, very expensive new. So these are really cute. They're a size, I think these were a six. Yeah, these are a six black suede really cute little um slip-on mule with all the rhinestones and these are bionic our comfort shoes so they are really nice condition on the bottom 7.99 20 percent off and i would list these probably 35 or so um, maybe 40 depending on comps and i would do 25 for you guys um, okay, then I think I got these too. Let me see. Yeah, okay. So these are fit flops. And I never knew fit flop makes a boot. <laughs> so these are brown suede. These are fit flops. They are kind of like, you know, you can they work out while you're walking. And they are a size, size 10, really nice. Suede always looks weird on camera, especially when you're taking pictures of it. It's very hard to photograph. Um, it looks way dirtier than it actually is, but these are in really nice shape. There's the bottoms, paid $8.49. These I think I can list for around 50. Um, I would say 40 to 50 and I would do 30 for you guys. I think that's it for savers, yes, okay. So now um, I'll move into Goodwill. So this these are from the Goodwill local to me, about three miles from my apartment. The first pair are these Merrill slip-ons. Okay, they kind of got that like mesh look in the front. They're just a little dirty, but overall good condition. All my all my Goodwill start our shoes at $9.99, even for flip-flops, which is ridiculous. Um, so these were $9.99. They are a size 10. Uh, I would list them around 35, I think, and we'll do 25 for you guys. Then I grabbed these. I don't usually pick up Clark's, but sometimes they have some really trendy shoes like the heels and the wedges and stuff. But these I picked up because not only are they the artisan um, collection, but their Clark's are always comfort shoes and these are brand new. They're just a little dirty on the bottom. I think that they were just tried on in the store and um, they are black leather. Paid ten dollars, and they are um, the Velcro is adjustable on the toes and on the front here, and even on the heel. So really nice comfort sandals. Uh, I would list these around again, maybe thirty-five or so, and I would do twenty-five for you guys. Um, okay, now we're gonna move into. I got two pairs of shoes at. Um, I feel like I'm missing a few pairs of shoes. I'll look in a second. Um, but next we're going to go into the church thrift shop that's near Dallas's daycare. And that's where I got in my last shoe video, the green suede, Ugg tall boot wedges, wedge boots. <laughs> well, I found another pair of Uggs there. Again, really nice. I think these are in even better condition than the suede boots. They are brown leather. 
little side zip. Um, now these were a little banged up, like I worked my wonder, I worked, I worked these with Dr. Martin Wonder Balsam and a little bit of toe, not toe, shoe polish dye. It's like a, it's like a dye and a polish and I think they came out absolutely beautiful. It's my first time using any type of shoe dye or anything, but as you can see, you really can't tell. I mean, they they came out fabulous. So, there's the bottoms. Now I don't I don't remember how much these were. Um, I I guess she took off the price tag. I want to say they were like three or five dollars. This church thrift store is so cheap. I almost feel like guilty, you know, buying the stuff. Um, so these are a size six. They actually look bigger than that. These are a size six and I'm going to list them online for around 45 or so, maybe 50 and we'll do 35 for you guys. All right. Then I have, oh, one more pair from that same thrift store are these vans. I really like selling vans. They sell really well and surprisingly they sell for a pretty decent amount. Um, so I do pick them up whenever I can, um, when I can get them cheap enough. I just need to clean these up a little bit. They have suede on the front here and they're really cute like rainbow color. And these I paid five, so those were definitely five then. So these were five. And um, these are a size nine they look and they look small nope okay i guess they're nine so these are size nine and i'm gonna list them around 40 and you guys i would do 30. all right then i went to just this morning i went to a thrift store that um is kind of out of out of the way for everything for me but I went that way today to um, actually go to my accountant so I can get my tax returns done. And I'm like, I will stop there and see what I can find. And I found two pairs of shoes. Usually I find a lot of hard goods for my booth there, but I didn't find anything today. So the two pairs of shoes that I found are these. So I got a really cute pair of blue suede Adidas sneakers. Again, they do need to be cleaned up a little bit, but they are in pretty nice condition. Okay, and they are the Adidas Neo, and they are a size eight, and they're women's eight. Well, it doesn't say, but yeah, they're a women's eight, and I would list them online for probably 35 or 40. I paid $4, and I would do 25 for you guys. Then I found another pair of Merrill. These are blue, oh wow, they're both blue suede. Ha, I didn't even notice. Got me two pairs of blue suede shoes today. So these are Merrill as well, and they have the little uh, nice faux fur inside, which is in really nice condition. Bottoms, pretty nice. These were also $4, and they are a size seven and a half. Um, I would list them around 40, 35 to 40 again, and 25 for you guys. Okay, so now let me just check and make sure I'm not missing any shoes, and I will bring the swap boxes up here, and we'll go through those. So one second. So that was all the shoes. I only got one pair from this place, and I thought I got more, but I guess not. Anywho, um, these are just a random pair of shoes that were given to me, so I figured I will try to sell them on here. I am not going to put these online, and I will show you why in a second. I believe th this is real leather. These are like um, slippers. It's just a loose thread, I can just clip that. These are slippers that can also be like indoor-outdoor, and the inside's very nice. Now the reason why I'm not selling these online is because 
all that writing on the bottom is not going to come off. I hate when thrift stores do this because this is marker and this is pen and the way this material is, it's not gonna come off. So I'm not gonna sell these and someone see that I, you know, the person only paid $5 for them. That's, anyway. Um, so these are size seven and they're just a really cute little leather moccasin house shoe and I would do um, 15 bucks. Okay, then I told you guys that I now go to Plato's Closet, which is near the Savers that I go to about an hour from me, and I am able to find um, things to resell, even though the prices are a little bit higher um, on most things, but I also bring my stuff there for them to buy from me instead of sending them sending it to thread up because right now I, I still don't think thread up is taking anything so anyway um, I usually get a credit they give you cash whatever you want I bought um, a bunch of purses that you will see in this week's purse sale video and then I also got these so these are by coach coach and four actually they have the little um, angle strap here and they are black leather with patent leather, a little nice espadrille, and I believe that they are brand new. I just think that they were tried on in the store or maybe worn once, but they are really super cute for the summer. They are size seven and a half, and I paid 10 bucks. So not bad on that. Coach and four, really nice condition. Like I said, I would say maybe worn once, if that. Super cute, and I would list these online for probably 40, and we'll do 30 for you guys. Okay, let's open, Swap always sends me like numerous packages, which is so weird because you would think they would try to combine everything to save themselves on shipping, because usually I get free shipping, because I think it's after 50 or $75 to get free shipping. Anyway, make sure you guys check out the sold list pinned in the comments section before you email me. Give me a thumbs up if you would, please. And let's see, see how they, they sent me just one. So let's see what's in there. Of course, I slipped through the invoice. Okay, so these are the Kula Burra by Ugg, and I paid $9.59, and that's after the 40% off. And if you guys check their website, even though the description may say fair or good condition, look at the pictures because 95% of the time they're new, like in the original box. So I have to say that this company is is just awesome and i've only bought shoes i've never bought anything else from them but i've had a very good experience with all the shoes that i've bought and 40 percent off how could you beat that <laughs> i don't think the 40 percent off applies to new arrivals though so keep that in mind okay so in the last haul i did have a pair of these and they sold these are a different um, size they are a nine and a half and I do believe these are new okay nine and a half really stinking cute mules um, red canvas with the studs so again I spent 959 I can probably list these online for at least $45 and I would ask um 35 from you guys i was just looking at that and i thought maybe it was lifting but i think it's just it was cut a little weird but no these are good so that's that now let's see i have two really big boxes but most of the time they give you the shoes in a box, whether it's their house box or the shoes original box. So that's why these boxes are so big. Ah! <laughs> Come on. 
is. Okay. All right, and none of these are in a box, so. That, there goes me talking before I knew anything. <laughs> All right, so let's see. There's five pairs in this box. Wow, I spent $17.99 on a pair of shoes. Let's see what they were. And the crappy part is they don't actually say the shoe. It just says like boots, sneakers, stuff like that. So let's see. All right, let's start with these. These are sneakers, it says. They are Vans. So these I spent $7.79. Remember I just talked about Vans. So these are really cute. They are gray metallic gold metallic platform sneakers. The leather looks really nice on them. They just need to be cleaned up on the rubber down here, but not bad at all. These are size, eight and a half. So listing them maybe 40 and you guys 30. I'm gonna put them right back in here because they're a little dirty on the bottom. Okay. These are mules. So these, okay, these are the $17.99 ones. I could have sworn they were cheaper than that. I'm gonna have to look. I think that might have been the, was that the original price? I can probably still get a good profit on these. These are Naot, and I've talked about these before, I'm probably saying it wrong, but they do bring a really good resale value, resale profit, whatever you wanna call it. They are a brown leather with the gold tone buckle, or I should say just a little chain. They're in really good condition. So I'm hoping I can get at least 50 out of these. I think I can, 50 to 55. And you guys, I would do 40. So that's still a pretty decent profit. Put that over there too. These are booties. So I spent 12.59 on these. Okay, these are coach. Oh, these are cute. Cuties. So they are black leather coach sneakers, high top sneakers. Size. They have to put it so far down the tongue, I can't even see. Size seven and a half. Just plain black leather coach booties they have the coach there on the um well it's just the the carriage with the horse and then you have the coach on the back there so really nice condition i would do probably 45 or so 45 to 50 and do 35 for you guys then we have heels these were five dollars and 39 cents I don't know why I got these. I think I think because they were new and they were only $5 and they're comfort shoes and they're leather. So I guess that makes that makes it okay. So 5 bucks on these black leather slip-on comfort shoes by Softwalk. And they are brand new. Right? No, they're maybe worn once. There's just a little bit of scuffing. But for $5, I can at least get $25 out of these, maybe more. And we'll just do 15 for you guys. Ah, running out of room. All right, last pair in this box, and these are boots. And these I spent $10.19 on, and they are Vanelli, okay. 
They are little ankle boots. <laughs> really cute beige suede. These are new. Okay, so I did just notice something kind of wrong with them. Yeah, I think they're scratched. So right there, it looks like it's actually missing some of the suede. Yeah, that's a bummer. Okay, so what I spend on these, 10, 19. Um, what size are they? Seven and a half, that's actually my size. Um, all right, this stinks. So I can't really sell them like that. I mean, I can try, but I'm not gonna get much money out of it, maybe 20 bucks. So if you guys, I'll do these for 15. If you guys want them for 15, they're brand new. I just noticed that. I don't think I saw that in the pictures, but I'll do 15 for you guys, size seven and a half, brand new Van, Van Ellie. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's get the next box. <laughs> oh my God, it's falling. Okay. Whew. Let me get the other side. It literally takes up half my couch. Okay. First out of the box. Oh wait, let me see if I can find the, um, here it is. All right, so, oh geez. There's no, there's absolutely no description of the item. So I might have to look at the item number. Yeah, so 174. Okay, these were $14.39. As you can see, they're Bionic. They are brand spanking new. All your tags and stuff. It just looks like they were tried on. This one's a little bit dirty, but here they are. I mean, I can get probably 60 bucks or more out of these since they're new. The other one that wasn't even take, ever taken out of the package. These are a size 10. Really cute. Again, like I said, Vionics are comfort shoes and they look super nice. Well, they're new, but they look super cute is what I meant to say. This is um, Velcro and so is this, size 10. So like I said, probably upwards of 60 to 75 online and I will do 50 for you guys. Those are nice. If they were my size, I'd be keeping them because they look like the perfect summer shoe that you can wear all summer and be comfortable. This box has all boxes. <laughs> all right, then this one is $10.79. Crocs. I know I talk about Crocs all the time. If you can find them cheap enough, buy them. People love Crocs and I love selling them to them. <laughs> These are super cute. They are a leopard print clog, almost like the Allegria or Dance Co. But they are um, fully rubber. And I know they have dirt in them, but I don't see any scuffing. So these may be new. If not, like I, oh, what the heck? See, now this I'm gonna have to call them about or email them. Look at that. That's like a severe, like someone took a razor to that. Let me look at the box. 
No, the box is not damaged. So that's ridic that is annoying. That's ridiculous. And now swap.com, you're getting an email because that's not okay. And while I'm there, I'm going to talk to you about my Vanellis too. That's not right. First, I'm going to look at the pictures in the listing first and see if they mention anything about that because then it'd be my fault. So. <laughs> uh. Next is 460, $11.99 on these. See, I don't think this shows the 40% um, off. Okay, these are brand new. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with them. No razor marks. Oh my gosh, I'm getting buried over here. These are Crocs as well. So what I say I spent on these, $11.99. They are a really cute, Croc wedge with the tag still on it, size nine. Super cute. These aren't bad. I don't. I don't mind Crocs. A lot of people think they're ugly. There are some styles that are ugly, but um, for the most part, they're fine. So, um, size nine. Do they have, I'm looking to see if they have an original price. I don't think so. But I would say probably 40 bucks. And I would do um, 30 for you guys, size nine. Okay, then last one in this ginormous box. Ten seventy nine. I spent on these. Jack Rogers. I think it was my last shoe video as well. I talked about Jack Rogers. It's a very, um, I guess not many people know about it, but it does resell very well. Jack Rogers. These are a really cute black suede espadrille slip-on with, this is embroidered. Brand new, brand spanking new. I'm telling you, they do not say that they're new in the listing, they say good condition. So when you look at the pictures, you can tell that they're new. And they are a size eight and a half. So listing them around 40, maybe 45 since they're new and 35 for you guys. All right, guys, that wraps up this shoe haul and sale video. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the description box for a 40% off coupon and source some items to resell. Spoil yourself. Valentine's Day is coming up. <laughs> um, check it out. See what you can, um, you know, grab for 40% off. Um, it's worth it. It's a big, that's a big discount. So again, thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Check the sold list down in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one.